Now, away from that, investigations into the alleged embezzlement of funds in the Wasin Gishu Scholarship Program has revealed that the Education Trust Fund had a total of 957 million shillings credited to that account by parents by December of 2022. That's last year. As Ode Francis now reports, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is now after the former governor, Jackson Kiplagat Mandago, to explain that discrepancy. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is investigating allegations of embezzlement of over 837 million shillings by officials of the Wasingishu County Government. The money is said to have been collected from parents for the facilitation of tertiary education in Finland and Canada during the financial year 2021-2022. The ongoing students in Finland, their second semester fee was paid from the uh, funds in the trust account with a commitment that the parents were going to pay. So parents owe the trust in excess of about 96 million. Jackson Kiplagat Mandago, who was, was in Gishu governor during that period, was grilled by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Investigation has revealed that the Wasingishu Education Trust Fund account was opened in May 2021 and by December 2022, a total of 957.1 million shillings had been credited to the account by parents. Investigations further show that a total of 257.3 million shillings was debited from the Wasingishu Overseas Account to beneficiaries indicated as agents for onward transition to universities in Finland and Canada. A majority of them now are preparing to attend graduation of their children in Finland. I want to ask them that as you prepare to go and celebrate, prepare to also make another parent celebrate, by returning the money so that they have the option of their money being refunded or those who want to continue the program to continue. The investigation hopes to reveal any embezzlement that may have taken place in the process. The probe uh, will uh, unravel any embezzlement that may have taken place at any stage, whether locally or even uh, involving uh, the amounts alleged to have been paid to other universities. ESCC detectives are also focusing on 57.5 million shillings withdrawn locally by county officials appointed to manage the trust fund account. According to Mandago, his brainchild program is a viable project, but he is quick to distance himself from any embezzlement. This time around, the parents were paying for themselves. Okay? But in our wisdom and thinking, we said we don't want the program to be an elitist program. We want to make it available in the future for every child, okay? So we amended the act to include funding overseas. But at a point where I left office, and you know this was happening in 2021 going to 2022. So as by the time I left office, the act was in place. So it's probably this administration now, if resources are available, that can now vote money. That will now be county money, not parents' money. Currently, 237 students are studying in Finland and 45 in Canada. It is alleged that some parents defaulted in making payments, which necessitated the use of funds for children who had not yet traveled to pay second semester fees for those already in overseas universities. The former governor was summoned to assist the commission in its investigations considering his role as the chief executive officer of the county government of Wasingisho when the overseas trust fund was conceptualized. I know with time we shall be vindicated. Tell me of any other county that has 277 students in Finland. If it is not for these uh, small challenges that we have experienced. As governor, he also exercised oversight over the departments of youth and gender and sports affairs where the program was domiciled and he is alleged to have played key role in the adoption of the program. Ode Francis, KT News.